Hey everyone, look what I got with me. I got Father Todd for the T3T. Check it out, what's about to go down. It's great to be together and to be looking at all of the stuff that's coming up. It's a very busy time, busy place. It's all great, it's all really good. So Christian, I'm thinking, so this coming Sunday, yes. we've got a bunch of people who are coming for worship. Uh -huh. And so we probably ought to be thinking about something we're gonna say to them, do you think? Ooh, wait, it's actually part two of this sermon series we got going on. I forgot, there's actually seven more parts, we're not done. Uno, dos, tres, dos. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. So come join us, we're talking about the image of God and what it means for us to be able to understand who God is, mm -hmm. or think we understand, or maybe even have our understanding changed so that we can be freed up for a bigger idea about who God is. So stay tuned. Come on this Sunday, this Saturday, uh, and check it out with us. But that's not all we got going on because we got a number two. Yes, I know. We got a number two. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> it's on the remind. Yes. Uh, um, and, uh, the kids will get it, right? They will. Um, on, on Friday, uh, we uh, have our cultural competency workshop. Mm -hmm. As you know, we, we planned for this uh, like a month and a half ago, but unfortunately, our workshop leader was sick. But we got her. She's awesome. So please come in. Uh, it is required for our staff, but highly, highly, highly recommended for our ministry leaders and those who take part in ministry. As you know, we are a congregation. It's a missional congregation. We're always involved with different neighborhoods, people of different backgrounds, whether it's socioeconomically, culturally, uh, ethnically, racially. And this just helps us, again, to keep on developing the uh, full, complete community of God. So awesome. So okay. you, you can just show up on Friday if you if you have not registered. So that's all good. It's at 10 o'clock here uh, over at Ross Hall. And we'll be joining with some other partners in the uh, city. Ross Hall. Ross Hall. That, that Ross Hall. Um, and and that's not even the end of it. There's there's more going no on. Way. I, oh my gosh! You see more? I can't believe it. Yes, I can't believe it. So I think probably one of the things we ought to talk about is Curcio, Women's Curcio mm -hmm. is hey, coming ladies. up. So it's not this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's next weekend. So it starts on Thursday, a week from this coming Thursday. Goes through the weekend, and Curcio. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows this. So Curcio is is an ancient practice. Uh, started in Spain, and it was it was a way of people getting away together in order to be able to be spiritually renewed. And so this particular weekend is for women. Uh, Barry Marsh Grant is our contact. And not a woman. Uh, not a woman. No, 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 no. And he loves the number three, by the way. <laughs> yes. So... <laughs> So contact him, call the church office, get your name in, uh, ladies. It is a it's a great opportunity, and you will be glad that you did. And we'll be praying for you. We will be praying for you. So many people come back from that weekend, like really. I mean, I, we know we use this word a lot, but it's totally transformed. Yeah. So That's if so you cool. can get the time off, you're really missing that Thursday and Friday. But it's really Thursday night. Thurs or starts Thursday. Thursday night, Friday and Saturday, and into Sunday morning. So it's the weekend. Do it, do it, do yep. it. All right, those are the top three things you need to know here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church. Muchas gracias, Padre. Uh, Todd, what is your name in Spanish? Um, when I took Spanish, it was Pedro. Oh, okay. All right, Padre Pedro. There okay. you go. All right. Adios. Uh -huh.